Hello and thank you for joining the Thursday edition of Journey the Standout. I'm Ayodili Uzubakum. Today on the program, Inspector General of Police deploys Special Intervention Squad to tackle banditry, kidnapping in FCT as federal government warns citizen that crowdfunding to raise money for ransom payment will worsen kidnapping. I'll be hanging out with Baba Tunde Kolade Otitoju, Tunde Abaton, and Tony Waje. So if you're ready, let the hangout start now. Thank you for staying with us. Let's begin with the issue of abuse and overzealousness, which may just be divided by a thing. By a thing. Now, the police in Abia State, southeast Nigeria, stormed a television station called ABN TV and arrested a guest, Udensi Donald, during a live program in Omaha. The police claim an elder brother of the guests. Uche Udensi had written a petition against him over a family matter. The director of the radio and TV station, Ifain Okali, said the management of the wo is worried by the invasion of the broadcast station by the police operatives. This is absurd. I saw it, it was like a live program and uh, <laughs> the police just barged in. I saw the listing and they, they asked the policeman to show his ID card and he pumped the ID card. But any kind of respect that the man was uh, attended to a live program and he can't be whiskey really? with him to do the live program. It's more to take a part of the issue over which... Uh, domestic. The domestic issue, purely family issue over mm -hmm. which the tutor has told in a brother and in a brother over a family issue. Mm -hmm. And the, the man is before national television, before a television station. Even our... I want to believe that our security agencies would not have done that. The DSS mm -hmm. and all others would, would not have done that. What is of importance to the state which they are discussing? Purely a family or domestic issue. It is not about the state. Mm -hmm. Even if, at then, if, if it is about the Nigerian state, you can still exercise restraint. You can still exercise caution. Everybody has a liberty. And the man has not said anything that would threaten the peace and stability okay. of that particular state. So <clears throat> uh, even if he had done so, they would have given him the opportunity. It is even allow him to hear his views that will provide the security agencies enough facts, enough reasons to apprehend him. But a purely personal, domestic, and family matter, you invaded the privacy of a television station and yank off the guest. I think the police needed to be told the mm -hmm. truth. And I think the Inspector General of Police, mm -hmm. he has to do something about the overzealousness of his officers. Of his officers. Tony, sometimes this will just amount to maybe it's as a result of the highest bidder. If some the complainant just mm -hmm. go and mm -hmm. you know how to settle your mm -hmm. way very well, mm -hmm. the police will do everything mm -hmm. that's a, that's why outside the books yeah. to make sure that they apprehend the person. The force of the money of that person, yeah. or the force of the <laughs> power of the of money it. of that person. <laughs> I mean, force of the money. Force of the money. Yes, I think and you right. see it. Yeah, it you see so it in action, yes. You know, because there are no punitive measures to this. You know, things like this happen and here. The next thing you hear that the police um, officer in question or the team has been transferred to another station. You know, so when they are transferred to another station, they continue that act. No, for me, there are no punitive measures. And that's where it ends. Today, I saw the commission of police paying a visit to the, to, to the broadcast station. I think it goes beyond that. It goes beyond just going to, you know, sorry, my officers. No, 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 no. Those officers need to be apprehended, prosecuted. There are reasons. Something actually triggered it. We can't be running the country like this. So this is not military regime. If somebody wants to arrest me now, I'm telling you, can you do it? Just <coughs> come to this life program it, it doesn't make sense. and invade the studio it has to and stop. say you want to it arrest. It has to stop. Then the police commissioner will come here the next day. Say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It can't continue because if you if, if you use that approach, another one will happen tomorrow. We need to identify these officers involved. There must be an investigation. What happened? And why do you have to invade the TV? So there must be an, be an investigation. And those officers, officers need to be prosecuted. It goes beyond the commission of police or the IG calling. The, no, no, we can't continue to run the affairs of this country this way. We In fairness to the police management, lately, once they see complaints like this, they identify the individuals involved and they round them off, and we see them parading them. And most of the time, they are, they are almost 
the center out of the force. Look, it is better to prevent the act from taking place in the first instance. If the police are properly indoctrinated about the do's and don'ts of the freedom mm -hmm. of the media, of the freedom of the individual, I think they should not have done that in the first place. Because you see, like I said, there will always be a repeat performance. So then what lessons have been learned? So it means the police hierarchy needs to sit down and reorientate their men and officers about public conduct, conduct that will not go beyond their brief mm -hmm. in office. This is embarrassing that somebody is before a television station because of it. Even what, whatever reason, even for the state, even if it's against the state, let him finish, and you can be waiting for him outside. outside. And you pick him up, but for a purely domestic family matter, because the senior brother complained against him. Mm -hmm. And like he said, maybe something has changed, and it is unfortunate. Yes, it makes it more it's ridiculous when you see that. The problem is not with the states. The problem is not with the government. So the problem is with my other brother. Yes. That can wait now. The, 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 the police, the, there's a, a police station involved here. Apart from the commission, the state police DPO. department. Yes, there's a, there's a police department, um, divisional police um, officer. Unit, officer um, department um, involved in this case. That is where, you know, the state command should... I want to believe that, that apart from the commission of police visiting the station, you know, to you know to appeal to them and all that, it should go beyond that. The DPO, because an officer within a divisional um, a, 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 a unit mm. cannot just go Entirely. and uh, yes, somebody somebody actually authorized that arrest, and you got into a police station, um, a, a, a TV a broadcast station. There was a live program going on. You were told, you still insisted on arresting that person and even caused damage to the station. That is reckless. And I, for me, I see it as, a, as an attack on the press. It's and it shouldn't, just go, it shouldn't just go like that. Because, as I said earlier, if we continue to do it this way, it will, it will continue. If we don't do anything to tackle it and address it, squ address it squarely. This, even under the military regime, I can't, you know, maybe for a few occasions this happened. But this is not a military regime. This is democracy. This is supposed to be democracy. And there are processes to these things. The highest they ought to have done is to wait after the program. They can arrest. But budging in and all that is, is a no-no. It's a no-no. And anybody who is in support, support of this is not, not wishing the country well. And sometimes the conduct of the police, a lot of people will blame it on the training ab initio, that you know, when they were entering the force, you know, the process of indoctrinating these guys, that it falls short of standard. Well, well, I think you have to know one thing, that is, the police himself, most of the policemen, they are not properly uh, enlightened and educated about <laughs> what their roles are. If they are properly educated about what they are supposed to do, an IG doesn't have to issue a press statement asking the police not to search the telephone of um, yeah, they should know this. Without the IG, you have to issue a press statement. Uh, don't search telephone. Don't search. When you see a young man driving, the young man is assumed to be a 419 guy. It's, assumed, it's so wrong. Harassing people all over the place. Or if the guy is on dreads. Uh, on on dreads. So automatically to, is a yahoo boy. Harassing. So I think the, the problem is the caliber and the character, the kind of people we recruit into the Nigerian police system. And the Nigerian police seems to have no code of conduct. There's something they call code of conduct for mm -hmm. officers. If you follow your code of conduct, you know, embarrass the members of the public. Who are, who are, you are being sustained by the taxpayers, and you are not supposed to harass taxpayers. The police, like they say, is supposed to be your friend, not, a, not an object of harassment of the citizen. Mm -hmm. It is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. That's why I have to look into the recruitment process. It's mm -hmm. very important. Recruitment mm -hmm. is very because important. Because I've seen a lot of who just. I, 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 Start from that police. Well, I don't say. I don't say for four years. <laughs> I don't get a job. Eh? Let me just Ooh. go into the police force. Mm. Mm. It's also good. You go for different, you know, different uh, reasons. reasons. And then at the end of the day, no orientation, because I think education is key here. Yes. In the yeah, the more, not that you have to, you know, um, do four so years. So these in officers, the most orientation matters. They must be identified. And they, they need to. I, they, they need to be identified. Edge. They need to be identified. You know, it goes beyond jokes. Into a radio it goes beyond jokes because yesterday. because we are in this we are in a, uh, we are a live program. Could right happen now. to anybody. Yeah, it could happen. Could if, happen we don't, to anybody. if we just let it, you know, slide. You, you, you and it's so ridiculous that even a purely family and that has nothing to do. That has with nothing to do with the state.
You can understand that security men can be overzealous when they are dealing with the state. But this thing is not about the state. It's about a domestic, purely domestic family matter that could be said to. After all, people go to court, mm -hmm. and the judge will advise members of the family, either a couple, mm -hmm. a couple of come and set, go and settle out of the court. But this is purely a private matter. Business. All right.